Wes Borland, who played guitar for Marilyn Manson from August 2008 to May 2009, supports the abuse allegations of actress Evan Rachel Wood, who identified her former fiancé as an abuser in a February 1st Instagram post that stated, I'm here to expose this dangerous man and call out the many industries that have enabled him before he ruins any more lives. I stand with the many victims who will no longer be silent. I decided um, my story was powerful enough and I thought that my voice could be loud enough that it could actually be heard. Wood talked about her experience during a 2018 testimony to Congress in support of sexual assault survivors legislation. At the time, she did not identify the man who sexually, emotionally, and physically abused her. Wood dated Manson from 2007 to 2010, breaking up after a brief engagement. She was 19 when they began the relationship, and Manson was 36. I didn't realize that I was being abused. I thought that I was being strong with a complicated person. And that was kind of what was being fed to me. In an interview with Space Zebra Live, Borland said of Manson, He's not a great guy. Every single thing that people have said about him is true. I was there when he was with Evan Rachel Wood. I was at his house. It's not cool. That's all I'm going to say about it. Borland, who was part of the original lineup for Limp Biscuit, went on to tell Space Zebra Live, He's amazingly talented, but he's f***ed up and he needs to be put in check, and he needs to get sober and he needs to come to terms with his demons. He is a bad f***ing guy. Another ex-fiancé of Manson's, Rose McGowan, released a lengthy statement on her own Instagram channel, paired with a supportive video. The caption read in part, I am profoundly sorry to those who have suffered the abuse and mental torture of Marilyn Manson. I stand with Evan Rachel Wood and all those who have or will come forward. And please don't pull out the why did they take so much time to come forward question that shames victims, survivors. It's what stops others from coming forward. And to all those who have covered from monsters, shame on you. Rise and say no more. Manson, whose real name is Brian Warner, responded to Wood and several other women's claims with an Instagram post that said, My intimate relationships have always been entirely consensual with like-minded partners. Regardless of how and why others are now choosing to misrepresent the past, that is the truth. According to the BBC, some of the other women who spoke up about similar experiences include Ashley Walters, a personal assistant of Manson's who said he frequently became violent, Sarah McNeely, who alleges that he verbally berated her for long periods of time when they dated, and model Ashley Lindsay Morgan, who says she suffers from PTSD, anxiety, and night terrors after her time with the musician. Loma Vista, Manson's record label, dropped the musical artist after Woods and other women's allegations, saying in a Twitter statement, Loma Vista will cease to further promote his current album effective immediately. Due to these concerning developments, we have also decided not to work with Marilyn Manson on any future projects. His booking agent, CAA, also severed ways with Manson, according to Variety, as well as several television projects. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233 or TTY 1-800-787-3224. You can also find more information, resources, and support at www.thehotline.org.